Our first question comes from Sarah. Sarah's question is, how do you recognize when you're stressed? Mm. Yeah. It depends on what slang words I'm using. If I'm, if I'm really. Are we only using slang, <laughs> slang words to explain? Yeah. I'm so stressed right now yeah. <laughs> thinking of these slang high, high, words. High key stress. <laughs> high key stress. Yeah, stress is an interesting one, right? I think, uh, I think there's good stress and there's bad stress. For sure. Um, and we've talked about this before, right? Yep. It's like, um, I think good stress is, is important to have in our lives. It's like pushing beyond our comfort zone. Uh, trying new things, putting ourselves in new environments where we're not necessarily uh, confident or sure. I think those situations cause you to feel a little bit more stressed. And I think sh there's like good stress that is a factor of growth. And then there's bad stress, which is a factor of uh, just focusing on shit you can't control. Um, for me, when I get really stressed out in my life, uh, I notice it because my energy is like gone and... I just like, I feel like things are very heavy. And I had someone ask me this one time. I was talking to a buddy and he was like, you know, I was like sharing a, a struggle that I was having and a decision I was making. And he's like, well, does that feel light or heavy? And I was like, oh, it feels really heavy. Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, what about the other one? And I was like, oh, that doesn't feel as, that doesn't feel as heavy. That, that actually feel. And he's like, then do the one that doesn't feel as heavy. And that was a really interesting aha moment for me because I think in life we like we physically feel the decisions that we make, the, the challenges, the struggles that we're going through. Like we have a physiological reaction to it. And so for me, I'm like stress for me, I feel into that. Like when it feels heavy or when I'm just like noticing that my energy is low, um, that's how I recognize stress in my life based on like the way that I'm feeling. Um, and then I try to just change the way that I feel by like moving my body or, or changing my, my focus on something like, again, I think oftentimes, and I'm not an expert, but in any means, but in my life, when I have the most stressed out, it's typically when there's something outside of myself that I can't control or that is controllable, but influencing me negatively. Yeah. And so you said something interesting there about stress, like being in that situation, you said that you feel like you don't have energy or something. Are there mm -hmm. moments when you don't even know you're stressed? Like, are you, are there times when you're just going through life, g doing the motions, and you don't realize how stressed you are because of the lack of energy or just like maybe not lack of awareness, but just like just being in the motion so much and doing it for so long that you forget what stress feels like? It's an interesting question. I think I'm trying to think of an example, right? Like, I think an example everyone can relate to at some point in time is financial stress, right? So, like, we've all had a point in our life where, you know, we were stressed out about money or bills or something. Mm -hmm. um, and that feeling is very pervasive because oftentimes there isn't a lot in that individual moment that you can do. Um, and so that feels, again, very heavy. And mm -hmm. I think in that regard, um, what was your question? What? How, how does it show up? It, well, hmm. like, do you have awareness or how do you recognize if you're in the, like, if you're just going through your day to day and you're feeling yeah. stressed, that's compounding and growing. Like, how do you recognize that you are stressed versus just like, that's just part of your day? Yeah. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't even like really a question. It was just something that you said interesting. Like how to bring an awareness to it. Yeah. yeah. Like you didn't even, you, you said that you didn't even realize you were stressed. You just knew that you didn't have a lot of energy or something. Yeah. Well, I think as, as human beings, we can build up tolerance to stress, right? And I think you said it perfectly. There's good and bad stress. And I, I, kind of compare it to the gym, right? If you want to grow a muscle, like you have to stress the muscle and the tension and, and really tear it to grow the muscle, right? And so there's good stress in growth. And I think anything financial stress, any any amount of stress can be good and healthy if it's pushing you to learn and grow and evolve yeah. as a human. That's a good thing. Gone too far and it can be detrimental to your health, right? And yeah. so how you find awareness that to me, I agree. I think if it's um, like if I, I if I notice my sleep's not if I'm not sleeping and recovering well, like there's there's something there to kind of unpack. Just trying to bring awareness to your overall energy. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, as I'm trying to think through a frame of this, it's like, what's a good example? And let's just use the business as an example. Yeah. Right. Because God knows, like as an entrepreneur, you've got more Endless. stress. Yeah. Then you know what to do with. Right. And yeah. Let's just talk about this summer for live. Beer, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, but but through the course of, of the business. Right. There's like multiple stages of growth. And at every stage of growth whether it's like a, a new employee or, you know, the business is growing. So the amount of inventory or the amount of expenses that we have get bigger. And so one of the things that they, you keep looking at me when you're saying these things, I'm trying to make <laughs> new employees, expenses. I'm trying to make eye contact, bro. <laughs> um, 
one of the things that's very interesting in business is like everyone wants to focus on the the sales growing, mm -hmm. but you don't actually, at least I didn't realize that like, okay, yeah, we want to do X amount of sales and we want to grow our sales, but there's correlating expenses to that, yeah, right? 100%. So like every dollar we make in sales, we're spending 25% of that on marketing, yep. right? So if we want to make you know, $10,000, we got to spend 2,500. If we want to make $100,000, we got to spend $25,000. And so as the sales get bigger, you're like, holy shit, how do we spend that much on marketing? Or how do we spend that much on people or warehouse or buying? Space or or and it's like, oh my gosh. And the numbers get bigger. And then you just feel like the weight of that because it's yeah. pushing you beyond any level of comfort that you've had before. And so for me in those moments, like when it's good stress, I almost have to like recalibrate myself a good example is a thermometer, right? Like if a, therm if, a, if a thermostat is set at 70 degrees, if it gets too hot or too cold, it's gonna kick back on and keep you at like 70 degrees. And most of us have a stress thermostat in our life that doesn't ever allow us to like get, get too overstressed or get too understressed. Like we kind mm -hmm. of, like if things are going too easy, we, we sit, tend to like add shit onto our plate to try to like make us feel like we got stuff going on or vice versa. Um, and so I think in, in my life, it's more about like recognizing w which direction I'm being pushed in. Is it like good or bad? And then like course correcting or leaning into it. Um, but the only way I know how to recognize it is based on how I'm feeling. Um, yeah, I feel like if it's debilitating where you can't take action for me, that would be a good indicator of like, I've got so much going on that I can't make decisions or take action. It's then causing me to yeah. be stuck. That would be unhealthy stress. Yeah. But recognizing that if I'm stressed because there's a deadline or a project and that's making me like, for me, I perform great under stress because it's like, I know I have a deadline. I know I need to get this done. That's healthy stress to push you to excel, yeah. right? Well, and that's also a belief. Yeah. Right? Like by, and I think here's like, I think the most important thing about stress. A, it's never going away. So just accept that. Totally. And B, understand that your relationship to stress is, is created by the meaning that you give to it. So not to get like too down a rabbit hole of psychology, but we're giving things meanings all of the time. And the meanings that we give things are bullshit. Yeah. Like we just make them up. It's either, yeah. it's either like the end or the beginning. Like this, this, bad, this bad month in business is either like means that the business is gonna die or it means like, oh man, we're gonna grow through that challenge yeah. and, and like kick butt the next month or whatever. So A, it's never going away. And B, be intentional with the meaning that you associate to things. Like, having a difficult time in your relationship, you're, you're about ready to have a newborn kid. Yeah. I imagine there's gonna be a lot of Fuck stress, yeah. <laughs> right? And so like, how do you relate to that stress? Yeah. Do you see it as positive or negative or as a growth opportunity? 100%. Or do you see it as like, fuck, things are all fucked and too crazy yeah. and I can't get- How can you know? I do all this? Yeah. 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 So more than stress itself, I think it's the relationship we have to it and how we view it. And then just having the awareness to know like, okay, this is something that I can control. So let me like make sure that this is moving me forward. Yeah. This over here is something I can't control. So I just need to learn to let go of it and focus on what I actually can. Yeah. And I think if we can do that, then the the relationship to stress that we have will improve and the amount that we experience it will decrease to some degree. I love that question. That's great, great question. Yeah, it's so relevant to the, it, we queue up the next one, but it's so relevant to life. You yeah. know, who, who asked that one? Sarah. Yeah. Sarah. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you hanging out with us on the beer yeah. <laughs>